Alright, well here we are on a five ton system. Um, looks like every other five ton system you could possibly think of, except the ductwork is too small. But that's really not a surprise. Um, when you look at it from the front, it's really tough to get in here because I just don't have enough room. Uh, but when you look at it from the front, you think, oh, no big deal. But it's when you go to the back, you have, well, actually, I've got a ductilator here. So you see how much room is there. Um, what they've done is they've put 18 by 16 line duct, which makes it 16 by 14 for a five ton system. And um, we'll look at the duct size in, in a little bit, according to the duct later. Um, I was here the other day, uh, and most five ton systems really need a return on the opposite side to make it work properly. And if you've noticed, converted to 410, 6, 7 of 11. And this unit is only, I think it's 10 years old. I'm not quite sure, but um, anyway, up there. Duck work goes through, goes up in the attic right there. Um, but, so, instead of cutting the whole 16 by 25 hole out of the, out of the furnace, they only cut 16 by 20 hole. And there's no filter rack. Well, there was a filter rack, and it's right here, but you see, they've covered it up. Look at these retards who put this shit together. So, uh, the blower wheel was cleaned. I don't know, somebody else cleaned the blower wheel, not me. But it was clean, and because it never had a filter in it, because there's no filter rack. And then when they cleaned the blower wheel, there was not a filter rack put in. So, um, so he asked me about a filter rack. Well, I was going to tell him, that, hey man, you really need to put a filter, you know, some way to hold a filter in. And then I got to notice in the, 16 by 20 hole instead of the 16 by 25. So in order to make up for the, this system not working properly, somebody add it. All right, so I'm out here. This is a unit that was replaced right there at five tonner. Imagine my surprise, I walk out the door. I thought there was only two systems here. I kind of figured there was maybe one or two for the kennel back there, but there's one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine units in this joint so anyway looks like he may need some work done it looks like somebody's been doing some sort of maintenance they got uh coal been washed from the paint being gone all right then so all the guy that put all these units in here and these are newer Linuxes, so uh, I'm sure he got his chance to work on that other unit. And this is what we come up with. And look, the old dryer vent and the coal is dirty. All right. All right, I come back over to the vet to talk to the vet. He's here today, so. Anyway, um, the supply duct is 14 by 20. Uh, it leaves the coil and transitions down. So it goes from like 24 to uh, uh, 21 or something like that at the bottom. And then 14 by 20 at the top. So, uh, but I think what we're gonna have to do on this one is raise it up. And I've looked up in the attic and it's just virtually impossible to get ductwork up there now that the place is built. So anyway, we'll look at the duct later. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the office later. 
kind of go over a little bit. All right, so here we have the duck lighter from that job. Uh, we're going to kind of go over it. If you look up here, this is our friction loss. And on the return, this one was measured at a point 0.1. Um, let's see if I can get closer. Um, point 0.1 at 2,000 CFM. You see the round would be 18 inches. And if you go down here, you can see 14 by 18. See, they, they, they line up. There's your 14. Or no, I'm sorry, 16. And you can follow it down. It goes down to 18. But our duck is lined, remember? So it actually makes it 14 by... 16 because it was 16 by 18 duck so now line that up so there's our 16 followed up and it goes to 14 so come up here and you see on round duck which would be uh, 16 inches which we all know is about three tons of air and at point one this gives you 1500 CFM. So at a point 0.5 gives you 1000 CFM. So they have actually reduced the airflow inside that system by half. So let's see what we what we really need to take it down to uh, to get it at point 0.5 friction loss at 2000 CFM. Take it down. See, we're just over 20 inch round duck. And let's see where we go. I'm going to put a 20 by 25 on the side of that thing. I'm going to lift it up, set it on a box, and I'll probably do a media filter on the side on on it. And uh, so 20 by 18 will get me, but I'm going to do 20 by 25. So we're going to be good as far as that goes so I don't think I'll be able to get anything inside the attic um, and if worse comes to worse instead of trying to replace all that other stuff in the attic what I'll do is I'll just run a return underneath the ceiling run it across the ceiling and then go up into the attic somewhere and and just drop another return duct and if I had to do that on the supply, I'll do it on the supply as well. But that's how I'm going to fix it instead of going up into the attic and fixing all that duct work. But this is the uh, good old duculator. Let's see. If we do that at a point five, let's see what our um, uh, feet per minute would be. Point five. There's a... Uh, 2000 CFM so recommended is anywhere from 7 to 900 you can see that's 800 CFM right there and if we do a feet per minute at 900 CFM we're still right here at like a point oh seven so doing it at point five would be good so I think we'll be just fine Alright then, that is it.